Hi, welcome back to my channel, Sister Water Purpose, where I give you uplifting motivational messages and I let you know what's going on. How you doing, Divine Collective? Thank you for joining me today. Shout out to all my returning subscribers. I love you all. Don't forget to like this video. How you doing? Welcome to the family, new subscribers. We are divinely protected, respected, and never neglected. Thank you, hallelujah, most high. Let's jump right into the message to see what we, um, what needs to be said to you today. For this upcoming weekend as well. Thank you, most high divine guides, divine relatives, divine divine relatives, as well as higher self. All right, now get it right. <laughs> for allowing me to come on and be a channel messenger of truth, light, and accuracy. I pray that you continue to watch over each and every one of my divine collective family members, as well as myself, as we go into the tarot and oracle cards to know what we need to know. Expose what needs to be exposed. We thank you for positive enlightenment and alignment. Hallelujah. We thank you for our spiritual journeys. Hallelujah. Okay. okay, guys. So let's get into it. I'm using my, um, uh, what's this? Telltale. I just got done doing a video with my lowdown deck. Um, Mercury goes direct. Right? Right. Okay. So this is just going to be what we need to know. What's going on? What is the highest energy for my divine collective divine divine feminine as well as masculine? I'm going to also do the resolution of a romance. It's now playing on my TV, okay? A streak of dreams. It could be someone who having dreams about you, but anyways, in that hope that runs the streets. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into the message. I will be doing a divine masculine video today just to do an energetic check in with specific divine masculine energy. Um, there are feminine people who. Feminine people, <laughs> feminine energies who possess divine masculine energy as well. So if you do feel that you have more of a divine um, masculine energy than divine feminine, don't forget to check out that message, okay? All right, let's get it. What are the messages needed? What are the messages that need to be said and heard today from this deck? If, if there are any messages, because sometimes, you know. Maybe operating from the wrong deck. I don't feel like I am. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get into it. I'm trying to, yeah, okay, cool. Sold, they're sold at the top of the deck. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, shit. Karmic copycat spirit is doing spell work. We also have 666. This came out in yesterday's video. All right, and um, it is. Release worries of physical world and focus on your spiritual path. So this is what that karmic needs to do. She really needs to get into alignment. She, he, whoever. We have big lies, okay? Someone could have told some big lies recently. Could be a Leo in particular who is the karmic cat. Karmic cat. <laughs> karmic copycat spirit who is doing the spell work, okay? They owe darkness and got to pay up. I ain't lying, baby. It's a exposed, okay? This person has been exposed for big secrets. God damn, thank you for giving it to me direct, the most high. Thank you. Regretting the spell work, okay? They're doing the script. Blah, blah, blah. They're doing spell work, but regretting the spell work. And I almost said squirrel. A nut in the squirrel, 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 did something out in nature, could have buried something out in nature. Why am I hearing they was doing this to catch a nut? What, what? Okay, let me keep it moving. We got, oh, Lord have mercy. We got moon magic, okay? This person was doing stuff according to the moon, and um, which was something of sacrifice. This is why they owe darkness and they got to pay up, okay? They, you could be a Leo and they try to pay you. Oh, shit. It say so. They so. They owe darkness. They got to pay. They regret the spell work attempts or the, the, the attempts to sacrifice you. God damn. Got to be a Leo somewhere in this picture. Queen of Wands right here. Okay. Mm hmm. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Okay. I'm feeling, feeling divinely guided. I'm feeling a little nervous. This person could really be nervous. Wow. But maybe because they've been exposed. Sacrifice. I was divinely guided to put, to put sacrifice right here. Most high, please protect my throat chakra as I go into the messages. Please give me a spirit of calmness as I decipher this energy that is upon us. Hallelujah, Asha. Okay. It will have to do until the real thing comes along for now. Yeah, and this is a person. It's a picture of a man and a woman, and um, they're just laid up with each other. So this person was probably trying to catch a nut. Um, damn. 
Look at this judgment. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, judgment for doing the spell work. And by doing the spell work, they change their fortune and destiny. Okay, this karmic copycat spirit is under judgment. Okay, they could have did this during Sagittarius season. Okay, or Capricorn season. So just shit, just last month. Because judgment and will of fortune, that's Capricorn and Sagittarius. If I'm not mistaken. Or Aries. Judgment. I'm not for sure. I got to work on that. The Page of Cups and the, the Empress. So they were lying going around talking about that they were the Empress. Okay. The Page of Cups. So I'm feeling like this person was holding on to something. They were receiving downloads, right? But they weren't focusing on their gifts. And this is why they ran with the energy of the Empress. Thinking that because they were receiving downloads that they were the Empress. Oh, yeah, this person don't want me to talk. I can also um, feel that there was someone who was pregnant that was doing this. Yes, they were receiving downloads, but they didn't take the time to study. I'm hearing that this person was, is someone that is young. If it's a young karmic cappy cat, cat, I can't even say that. What's going on here? If it's a young karmic copycat spirit, she is pregnant. If it is not someone young. This is someone who could have been an empress when they were younger, but they're no longer carrying this energy. They are a karmic. This person has been exposed for doing spell work on an empress, which is you, yourself, okay? But, you know, you, if you're a Leo, come on. You can't be stupid enough to do no spell work on no Leo, okay? We got the two of swords. Could have been a Libra who did this or an Aquarius. We got the two of swords. Then we got the high priestess, okay? So, um, somewhat intuition, or you could just be inviting this high priestess energy for, it's been exposed too, because the Leo deals with the sun. So, whatever you were indecisive about, whatever you were in your thoughts about, you're correct, right? Yeah, you are. And you know who the person is that's doing this. Like I said, it could be a Libra. Tor yeah, Taurus, Libra again, because that's the Empress card. Sagittarius, Capricorn. Aquarius. So anyways, moving forward, it could really be anybody, guys, but if those signs stand out to you and you've already had like some anxious feelings around this person or you felt like something was off, then trust your gut. Okay? I'm hearing this Leo. If it is a Leo who is the karmic, she is shitting bullets right now because she owes darkness and she knows it. Look at the moon. The moon stood out to me in both of these cards. She's in her thoughts. She got her sores up in her logic and her emotion. But she the one who blindfolded herself by doing this dumb shit. And this shit is being exposed. Mercury has gone direct. Somebody's being exposed for the shit that they were doing. They were doing it according to the moon and now they're regretting it. They did it and they changed their destiny. Mm -mm -mm. They could have did it to someone. This could have been someone older. Doing this to someone younger as well. I just got that as well. Try to sacrifice someone. You yeah. oh, shit, bitch. The magician. Yeah, she was playing the spell work. We already know this, though. Yeah, and then she had the audacity to try to present an illusion to a Scorpio in particular. Or could or Scorpio could be exposed for doing this. The Seven of Cups deals with illusions. This weekend, someone, if they have not already been exposed... Someone will be coming to you, direct communication, letting you know about what the hell going on. Or this person themselves could be doing this. Someone that was copying you, someone who feels like she's under judgment, someone who's paranoid. Could be a Pisces as well, because that moon stood out to me. Could have been, uh, ooh, bitch. Excuse me. Queen. Pisces. A Pisces trying to soul search. I said could have been a Pisces as well. Pisces came right on out. Bitch, you can't hide from me. And when I say bitch, I'm talking to the Carmen now. You cannot hide from me. This, this Pisces, she, it's a Pisces and Leo been working together or been working and been doing some shit with a Virgo as well. Trying to soul search now. Oh, they were, oh, okay, well, okay. Spirit says, no, it's not a Virgo. They were being analytical. They were using Virgo characteristics by clocking the moon. This, these bitches, I'm hearing that these bitches was doing this religiously. They're stuck now. They feel stuck. Especially if it's a Pisces. Okay, give me one for a sacrifice. Whew, ooh. They wanted to sacrifice your divine union, girl. Girl, look at this. Look at this. Trying to hide their hand. 
throwing rocks and hiding their hand, doing spell work and hiding their hand behind your divine purpose, your divine union. King of Cups energy. Try to sacrifice, could have tried to sacrifice. Your masculine could be older than you. I'm speaking to a younger divine feminine with an older masculine. King of Cups, Page of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Tried to div divide you guys, okay? Wanted you to lack because the Four of Pentacles talks about lack. Wanted you to lack your King of Cups. Wanted you to not be able to have a divine union. For some of you all, it could be a Capricorn in particular who is the King of Cups or a Gemini that they tried to sacrifice. I'm hearing some of these people are leaving. If they live together, if this is if this is a couple doing this and they leave together, somebody walking away. Or you could have walked away because you're the nine of pentacles. This is what they did not want to happen. They sold their soul, but you stood up and defended yourself because you're the high priestess energy. I'm here, see, I'm hearing that you were graduating. While they were sitting back thinking that they were going to attack you, you went on your spiritual path. You went within to seek these answers, to find out what the hell was going on. And the divine allowed you to graduate from a page of cups to the high priestess to the hermit. Yeah, you went within to find out who was doing this shit. And yeah, and look at the way this, this hangman trying to hide their hands. Throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Throwing spell work and hiding their hands. But the spell work has, has, uh, it's up. The jig is up. That's what I just heard. They had, they, they hung themselves. Yeah. And was lying, going around talking about they the empress. And lying on you saying you weren't the empress. But this, I'm hearing that these people are under judgment right now. And something's getting ready to happen for them. This will of fortune being here. And you standing your ground energetically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There could be up to two people who are going to have to sacrifice something because they owe darkness. What is the outcome of this? What is the outcome of this spread? And then we're gonna move forward, get an um affirmation card, and then we gone. Yeah, an ending. You've already put them to rest. Put these people, whoever these people are, are, if they have not come to you, they will be coming to you. Because you walked away from them. You were energetically, divinely guided and led to do so. Yeah, look at this shit. I didn't even look at the cars yet. Y'all see me? Didn't even look at the cars yet. Star, walked away. These are people you used to celebrate with. These are people who you had plans to celebrate with. A team of three people. But Leo and Pisces stood out to me. But Leo is on the table. So Leo could have been a ringleader. Or you could be a Leo. Because we do got can Now we got cancer. And, it, and Pisces again. Damn. And Scorpio though. It could really. Girl. Don't, don't get me to talking about these damn signs. Because they all be coming out. But you and your energy. You and your purpose. You elevated and graduated. So you walked away from this three of cups bullshit. That you were once a part of. It could be two people and you're the third person. Or there's three people. And they still had expansive progress towards doing something. And whatever they wanted to do, it ain't going to work. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, you're going to get your two of cups. I don't know why they were so hell-bent on you not having a two of cups. I don't know why they were so hell-bent. This could be family members hell-bent, wanting you to lack funds, wanting you to lack love so they can energetically drain you of that. Whew. But the outcome is that you're going to have expansive progress towards your actions. You're going to be celebrating with people who genuinely love you. And you're walking away from people who don't want to see you in your purpose. Lover man. Yeah, you're going to get your lover man, baby. Lee Morgan. The name's Lee or the name's Morgan could be significant. The cooker. Mm -hmm. Somebody, shit, I know I'm cooking right now. <laughs> Somebody could be trying to cook some shit up, but it ain't going to work. Now they're going to have to sacrifice their own relationships. Now they're going to have to be in lag because they owe and they got to pay. Thinking you're going to sacrifice somebody's relationship. What type of shit is this? This is tying in with that um that one reading where the masculine, the, the karmic paid for the masculine and tried to sacrifice like your emotions for that person. Yeah, this is something similar. Like, if not, ooh, damn, all the cards almost came out. 
Yeah, I got mental clarity. I have mental clarity, and so now, now so do you. Hey, sugar love. Good morning. Good afternoon. Where your earring at, mama? You got one more. Where the other one? Go get your side piece, okay? I got you some snacky. All right, divine feminine. I have mental clarity, ace of swords. So leave this reading with the clarity that you need and have behind the conflict whatever conflict you in come on come on sugar come over here i give my oh damn my bad y'all somebody, somebody like no nah, bitch we don't want you to say this repeat this because somebody don't want you to repeat this i give myself time to rest meditate and go within okay so you got your mental clarity okay you've given yourself time to rest and meditate the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So you already know what's up with this conflict, all right? And sorry about that camera dropping you all. Until next time, I'll catch you in my next video. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like the reading.